turn on YouTube Studio. So welcome to Techno Dad Life and my name is Jeff and so today what we're going to do is show you how to make a three camera automatic YouTube studio as easily as possible and we'll show you all of our secrets. So when you first walk into the room, you'll notice three things. So some lights are now from the ceiling over there and over here. I used to have those on a stand also, actually the same stand, and I'll put a picture in right here. And then what I wanted to do is simplify it a bit. So basically I took all that off. I just have the two cameras here. And so that is the overhead camera and that is the side angle camera. And then the secret sauce of what I just entered is this camera in the middle. So that's a fully articulating arm, so it can go up and down, side to side, basically in three dimensions, whereas these are two dimensional mounts. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice is that I can move the camera up and down very rapidly, uh, which you can't normally with a mounted on a tripod or something else stand and so for here you can see it i have on this atom tech uh, tv stand and this is a gas strut one so i can put it on turn it push it back pull it forward i can do whatever i want and actually this has been a game changer for my studio because uh, I don't have to move around different cameras all the time. Everything can just stay mounted as it is. Now if we turn the Atom Tech uh, stand around and now you can see I have a overhead camera and so this will be our direct down shots and usually what I do if it gets in a shot I can just Turn it like that and take it out and I try to hold it on this spot so it stays relatively okay so I don't have to adjust it. Then behind that we have our third camera and so this is for our side shots and again we can move it uh, anywhere we want. We want to get a high close angle. And there we can look straight down at our uh, laptop here. Or we can do the direct overhead uh, shot here. So that's pretty cool. Now what this is here, this is actually a TV stand with an extender or monitor stand. These are extra long monitor holders. Uh, just like this is a TV stand monitor holder too. So. That's going to be, those are the basis of all we need here. Now if we look in the back here, this is the ATEM Mini. And so this is what our, all our different cameras go through. So if we want a overhead close up or a side shot, or we want to get our face in, this is how we do that. The nice thing about the ATEM Mini is, so again, you can change quickly through the shots, but you can also change sound sources and you can do cuts so start with the monitor stands then go for a 10 mini oh and uh, what i forgot to say is this can be used with just about any camera so how i have mine set up so one side here i have a dummy battery and so what that means is it's a battery that actually plugs into an outlet. So the cameras are always ready to go. And then on the other side, I have this HDMI table that goes down and connects to the back of the ATEM Mini here. And so those were those cords I showed you earlier. So the next thing you want to think about is sound. And this is the Rode Video Micro Pro. And so this is wireless. So I really suggest going wireless, and so you can do it two ways. So one is 
You have the microphone and it connects to the receiver like that. Or you can just use the receiver, put it on there, uh, which is even faster. So again, if you want to do this as fast as possible, you just clip this on. And then you're ready to YouTube. And it actually doesn't look too bad, actually. You notice it just as much as the microphone here. I mentioned this earlier, but I'll just show you now. You can plug in an external monitor into the ATEM Mini, and then you can record that. And so you can even do picture in picture and move around the picture to the various corners here. Now, how we do that is through this guy over here. And so this is a 4K HDMI 2.0 matrix 4x2. Yeah, but I'll leave a link into the description. But basically, you can hook up four different computers to it, and then you can switch back and forth between the two. If you're doing any work where you're showing your computer screen or some external source outside of your cameras, then this is a good thing to get a bunch of different uh, video sources into one to extend the capabilities of your A10 Mini. Now, looking closer at the camera, one other thing is I have it on this camera mount. So basically, I can adjust the tilt of the camera up or down. It also has this quick release plate. So if I do need to take my camera off, I can do that. And then I just have to unplug everything. There's the HDMI, and then the battery comes out the bottom. Now the final piece de resistance is getting everything to go on automatically. So if we look back here in the corner, we have two things going on. So one is I have a cable holder. And so that keeps all the cables off the ground. And that way I can actually move the desk. And I don't have to worry about ripping anything out of the wall or out of sockets. The other thing is I have this power supply, and you notice I have different, these are Wi-Fi enabled plugs. So if you look there in the back, I have these two outlets, uh, Wi-Fi adapters from Gosun. And so these particular ones just work with Amazon Alexa. Uh, I did do a video on flashing them to HomeKit if you're very adventurous. So what I'm doing for new outlets are these Vocalink. Wi-Fi adapters, which are native home kits. And so for me, I found home kit is much more reliable and we have a HomePod MIDI, so that works well for us. Now, if we look up at the lights, you can see they're attached to the ceiling, and, but actually they're attached to this bar right here. And so those just clamp onto that metal bar going across. And so you don't have to do anything to your ceiling. Uh, like I showed you in this picture earlier, I did have them on the mountain here. But this way, with them up high like that, it just gets them out of the way. I have much more room. And if I hit them just like I did there, then the, the whole table doesn't shake. So that's how I have my three camera, one desk studio set up. If you want to help the channel, make sure you like and subscribe and use any affiliate links in the description. You take care. Bye-bye. And a special thank you to all my supporters who, without your support, this channel would not be possible. And if you haven't already, please think about supporting the channel you love. Thank you.